Have you ever wondered what happens to the houses after an HGTV show like Fixer to Fabulous renovated them? While mostly they serve the exact purpose they were built for and end up becoming a forever dream home for the individuals and family, at least for a long time. But sometimes residents have a change of heart and move to someplace else for whatever reason. Recently, many people wondered which of the two possibilities could have happened to the pink house featured in the show's second season. You must remember the one we're talking about. It belonged to Bowman Cooper, the daughter of Scotty and Cynthia Cooper, who themselves were featured in the very first episode of the HGTV show in season one. After helping them find and build their dream home, couple hosts Dave and Jenny decided to do the same for their daughter. Bowman is a 7th grade English lit teacher from New York City but decided to move back to her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas, according to David and Jenny's blog. She had found a fixer upper house in the neighborhood herself while on a stroll with her mother which was an old and cozy little house that dates back to the 1980s. It was visibly in a rough condition that would need a lot of work around the edges but Dave and Jenny concurred how the house had potential. The rough edges stood no chance against the couple's masterwork as they turned the centuries old house into a dreamscape. They used an iconic contemporary pale pink color on the outside and also used it in the interior along with some black and white to contrast it here and there. The high ceilings with a lock really defined the house from the inside. It had an elegant study as well as a secret one cellar hidden just below the kitchen's island. These are just the highlights of the home, and Bowman is overjoyed at the results. After living in my apartment, this feels so much more like a home. Bowman said, I feel like I'm a part of this house. I think this house is just a really great reflection of her. I mean, it looks like Bowman to me. I love that. Jenny added, went to a joke. I really, really think she loves it, and if she does it, I'll move in. However, now fans are again focusing on her house now that they've noticed a change in her job and career. While the pandemic was still causing most of the schools to remain shut down and operate virtually, the young teacher did not have a lot of trouble. She could take her classes in NYC from the comfort of her home in Arkansas. She even wanted a home office according to Reality Tidbit to be able to work from home. The whole house was so dark before and this renovation breathed life and light throughout. The remodeled study ended up being even more important than I expected. For the last year, I've been doing my job virtually in this room of shelves for my books and supplies has made teaching from home so nice," Bowman told Dave and Jenny in a June 2021 check-in interview. It's also the place that makes me feel most at home. Those beautiful shelves allow me to look through all those books and also display my knickknacks and chapters. Bowman said the sophisticated salmon tone study is per distractify. However, there has been a shift ever since people are getting vaccinated and the COVID cases are decreasing. So with almost all school reopening, maybe Bowman will have to spend much time in the city and would have to sell the house. Well, that may be true, but she has not revealed anything about it yet and the house has not been put on sale, but we will keep our eye out for it so you don't have to.